Welcome to Automation Academy. This is John, your host. Our topic for today, Automotive Interview Questions, Part 3. Question number one. What is automotive differential and how does it work? Tips. This is a common automobile interview question usually asked to freshers. While you answer this question based on your understanding of the topic, use simple language and real-life examples. You can include a reference of a vehicle without a differential to explain its advantage for vehicles that have one. Sample answer. Differential is a system of gears that transmits different amounts of engine power to the drive wheels on the same axle, allowing them to rotate at different speeds. This is useful when the car is making a turn. As the outer drive wheel rotates faster than the inner drive wheel, the car can turn efficiently. Question number two. Why cars need a gearbox? Sample answer. When a vehicle is moving on a road, it has to encounter different resistances depending upon the road surface, vehicle speed, and road gradient. Hence, wheel torque required at road wheels is different for different operating conditions. To satisfy this requirement, a gearbox is necessary in a vehicle. Question number three. Why are steering wheels round? Tips. Some interviewers might ask their interviewee more conceptual questions, like this to see whether you can use your knowledge of cars and critical thinking abilities to come up with a reasonable answer. Four. Questions like this. Listing multiple reasons is a great way to answer because it highlights your critical thinking abilities and shows that you understand problems can have many solutions. Why are steering wheels round? Sample answer. A steering wheel might be round because that makes it easier to use. When the wheel is round, the driver can turn smoothly without running their hands into edges or corners. Mechanically, the round steering wheel also helps send uniform torque down the shaft to the gearbox. Question number four. Explain how the air conditioning system in a car works. Sample answer. The air conditioning system works to cool and remove humidity in a car by turning refrigerant from liquid to gas and back again. The compressor draws in the refrigerant and pressurizes it, turning it to gas. The gas turns back to liquid and runs through a coil that removes the water so it doesn't get too cold and freeze, which would damage the system. Then the refrigerant fluid goes through the expansion valve and turns back to gas. The evaporator uses the cool gas to absorb the heat from the cabin, which cools the driver and passengers. Question number five. What are the functions of a gearbox? Answer. T has to provide torque multiplication. Two. It has to provide neutral position. Three. It has to provide the means to reverse a vehicle. Question number six. What loads are coming to axle? Answer. Vertical bending load due to vehicle weight. Two. Driving torque. Three. Dot braking torque. Four. Side thrust. Question number seven. What are two types of vehicle suspensions? Answer. One. Rigid axle suspension. Two. Independent suspension. Question number eight. What is the function of a bumper? Answer. A bumper is the frontmost or rearmost part, which is designed to allow the vehicle to sustain an impact without damage to the vehicle's safety systems. Question number 10. Name few components of engine. Answer. 1. Cylinder block. 2. Cylinder head. 3. Crankcase. 4. Cylinder. 5. Piston. 6. Connecting rod. 7. Crankshaft. 8. Camshaft. 9. Valves. 10. Spark plug, in the case of petrol engine. 11. Fuel injector, in the case of diesel engine. Question number 11. How are automobiles classified into different types? Answer. Based on make and model. 2. Based on fuel. 3. Based on body style. 4. Based on number of wheels. 5. Based on drive. 6. Based on transmission. Question number 12. What is the function of piston, connecting rod, crank shaft, and cylinder head? Answer. 1. 
the piston assembly transfers the force from the power stroke to the crankshaft. 2. Connecting rod. Converts reciprocating motion of piston into rotary motion of crankshaft. 3. Cylinder head. It acts as a top cover to the cylinder block. The valves are placed in the cylinder head in an overhead valve engine.